all right guys so what I'm gonna be going over here is how to install the snap pixel onto your landing page now I know a lot of you guys might already have clients or maybe you're thinking of doing this for an existing client and what you're gonna do is you're gonna basically first of all log into your snap ads manager if you don't already have a snap ads manager in place then go to my video where I explain exactly how to step by step set that up and I'm going to put a link down below so you have access to that video as well all right so I'm assuming that by now you already have a snapchat ads manager account so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this top left drop down menu <coughs> And what you're going to go to is snap pixel great now you're going to go to the top right where you have set up pixel and it's very simple it's, you'll notice that it's very similar to the Facebook ads manager if you already run Facebook ads you'll see this is very familiar if you haven't already then here's what you're going to do you're going to copy to clipboard you're going to log into your click funnels account now I'm already logged into mine um, and what you're going to do is you're going to go to the funnel specifically that you want to install the pixel in. So you're going to go to funnels and you're going to choose the very specific funnel uh, that you want to install the snap pixel in. So now that you're inside of the funnel page, here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to settings. And in the settings page, you're going to come across this right here. What you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste the snap pixel onto the head tracking code. And here's the important part. Don't forget this because this has happened to me before where I forget this step. What you're going to do is you're going to choose save and update settings. Now, now that you've gone ahead and installed the snap pixel into your landing page, you're going to be able to do a wide variety of things, one of which is obviously track all the people that are coming to your landing page from snapchat and that's going to be really helpful if you're running two campaigns for example a facebook campaign and another uh, snap campaign and as you can see here uh, as soon as you go ahead and plug in that snap pixel what's going to happen is you're going to see all this data come in um, right now uh, two total events both of them obviously are me the funnel is not active so those two are me and what you're gonna do uh, once you do start seeing traffic coming in you're gonna go to audiences and what you're gonna be able to do is actually use lookalike audiences based off of the people that have shown to opt in to your campaigns and another thing that you can do especially if you got a new client who already has a customer list is a create an audience for them and match them up with the snapchatters who are already on the platform and then you'll be you'll be able to also uh, set up a saved audiences based off of certain interests and all the different targeting interests uh, all the other targeting uh, that snapchat provides for you so here's all the stuff that you're able to do is very powerful and very unique uh, I've already gone into snapchat and seen all the different uh, options when it comes to targeting I'm telling you it, it's very unique and very different now to Facebook and uh, now that they've taken out certain targeting interests and uh, I know for some of you that was really important so you might take a look at actually transitioning into the snapchat ad platform and start running some ads for your clients so if you have any questions whatsoever then go ahead and leave me a question if this was helpful then leave me a comment down below let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see if you want to see more snapchat ads videos or maybe more Facebook ad videos or, or agency specific videos go ahead and leave it down below and I'll go ahead and take a look at it answer any questions and uh, thanks for tuning into this video and I'll see you on the next one